Okay, so here we are inside of our demo level. And what I want to do is show you how you can use a fluid surface actor to put the effect of a water puddle right here around our fire hydrant. Now we're going to take this just one small piece at a time, and for starters, we're just going to bring in the fluid surface actor itself, as well as an actor to help us capture the reflection. So let's start off here inside the actor classes browser, and I'm going to jump down to the fluid surface actor. So with that selected, let's close out actor classes, and I'll right click here on the floor where our puddle is, and choose add fluid surface actor here. Now this fluid surface actor is huge. It takes up our entire level just about. What we're going to do is shrink that down and we need to move it up a little bit as well. So to move it up, I'm going to temporarily switch off my drag grid and we'll slide this up a little bit. Not too much. We just want to kind of fill in this puddle area. Then I'll turn the drag grid back on. We also want to scale this down and scaling with the fluid surface actor is a little interesting. If we grab our draw scale, the first field, and set it to 0.125, you'll notice the number immediately switches back to 1, though the surface itself did scale down. So it's like it's relatively scaling, always from a value of 1. Now I'm going to position the actor so that it nicely fills in the area of our puddle without leaving any gaps, because really it's just like a sheet. So we could slide it out of the way if we weren't careful. So we'll fit it in like so. Now, currently, this is just completely black. It's not going to be very good as a puddle. That's going to be partly a material texture. Now that material is going to use a texture that is going to rely on the reflections of our level. So we need to bring in an actor that will simulate those reflections for us. So let's go back into the actor classes browser. And I'm going to come under scene capture actor and grab the scene capture cube map actor. I'm going to right click right here on our fluid surface and choose add scene capture cube map actor here. Now that's pretty big and it means that we can't really see our fluid anymore because of its size. So I'm just going to set its draw scale down to about 0.25. The scale of this actor is completely irrelevant. We're just scaling it down to get it out of our way. Now by itself this actor will not really do anything. We need to use a render to texture cube asset in order to really make this shine. So let's go into the content browser and in a blank space I'm just gonna right click and create a new render to texture cube like so. Now we need to give this a package. Let's call this fluid package and let's see RTT cube underscore water reflection. And you can see the texture here. It looks completely green. Don't worry about that at the moment. However, with this asset now selected, let's go ahead and save our package. So I'm going to select fluid package and hit control S and just click save. Now I'm going to select the scene capture cube map actor and press F4 to open its properties. Underneath the scene capture actor, we'll expand scene capture, expand capture, and you'll see the texture target. Go ahead and assign our newly created texture there. And if we take a look here inside the view, it now suddenly looks like that actor is reflecting our scene as if it were a chrome sphere. Now back here inside the properties, we're going to set the far plane to 1024. I'm also going to enable post process and we're going to leave the view mode set to scene cap view lit no shadows. We don't really need to be processing shadows. This is a really small reflective area anyway and because the place is lit the way it is actually seeing those shadows would be pretty slim chance anyway. Okay so now we've got our reflective surface in place. We have our fluid surface actor in place. Go ahead and save your level. Make sure you also save your package if you need to. And then when we come back, we'll take a look at setting up the material that'll kind of help complete the process.